Hello everyone, this is Volts Dev, Voltage Development, whatever I'm called, and today I'm going to be showing you a simple technique. Um, if you remember games like I'm Scared, where um, it uh, saves a image to your uh, file system thing, that's what we're going to be uh, doing today, as in we're going to be saving an image to your file directory, so uh, let's get into it. So here we have um, a simple scene that I just booted up and let's just go into 2D scene because why not and first of all let's just say this scene is 2D scene because and I've actually got this image called confused because that's what most of you probably are right now before watching this video and you currently might be confused right now Anyway, so what we need to do is, first of all, we need to actually make a script over here, call it 2D and no 2D, because why not? And the first thing that we need to do is we need to actually create a function called save image and open parentheses, and in here we need to do a image and do the colon thing, and then type in texture and then open and close and then I'm going to pass it for now. So in order to save our image to the file system because maybe you want to scare someone with a scary image maybe, all we have to do is we have to make a new variable, call it uh, variable image uh, texture and then equal that to get image and then open and close and then inside of here put in image and that should be fine hmm okay so the reason why this is not fine is because i've done it a little differently to how i thought it would be but uh right instead of get image you have to do image dot get image and then it should be fine there we go and now after this all you have to do is do uh image texture dot save png and then uh just put in user colon slash slash uh save it as save it as confused dot png so now that that is done let's just uh save this but we need to actually call this function first because right now it's going to do absolutely nothing so in this ready function let's just do save image and because it actually needs something we need to put in uh we first of all actually needs to do an export variable and call it uh image texture and then you need to set this to texture save that and now go over to nose 2d and over here it i mean it should pop up i don't know why it's not uh Hang on. Why isn't that popping up? Oh, wait. It's, okay, actually, you need to uh, comment this out. And now... Okay. Let's just do pass. Now it pops up. Because, you know, uh, it's always reading the script. Okay, so now that it's popped up, put the confused.jpg into there. There we go. Now, save this. And now... Uh, uncomment this out and inside of here need to put in image texture and then save that and now let's just run this uh, the scene now obviously nothing is actually happening on the screen because we didn't actually uh, bring the image into there but let's go ahead and go over to project open user data folder and we have confused.jo.png and let's open it up and it's the exact same. So, and uh, if you want to save this to where your game is located, not necessarily where your save data is located, but if you want to save this to where your game is located at, uh, so like uh, saving it in the exact same uh, folder as your game is, all you have to do is uh, take away the user uh, colon slash slash and just put in dot slash. That's all you need to do, and then uh, when you're running your game and run this code, 
the image will be basically it will be teleported to right next to the .exe of your game. So that is basically it of this uh, tutorial. Just wanted to give this uh, tutorial for you guys who wanted to make something a little bit similar to like I'm scared or maybe even Doki Doki Literature. That may be a spoiler. Oops. So yeah, if you want to make a game like I'm scared or uh, anything that uh, can save an image to your files to scare you or, you know, to do something unique, then this is how you do it. So I hope this all helped you out for your future scaring people in your game.